Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. My name is Bev and welcome back to my channel. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, you are very welcomed and kindly consider subscribing. And to my returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. In today's video, we are making local chicken or kukuya kieneji. We started off by cleaning our chicken. This is our ginger garlic paste. Started off by boiling our chicken in ginger garlic paste and salt and we mixed well until everything was nicely incorporated. Next I added red onions and I mixed well until everything was nicely mixed. The reason as to why I added the ginger and the garlic plus the onions was to build flavor while the chicken is boiling. I let it boil for one hour, but if yours is still tough at that one hour margin, you can add it an extra 30 minutes. This local chicken is normally very tough. Now we are going to get the chicken from the broth and we are going to set it aside but don't get rid of the broth as we are going to use it later. Here are our spices, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, black pepper and seasoning. Green bell peppers, diced tomatoes, ginger garlic paste, tomato paste, onions, coriander leaves, coriander stalks, and lastly our boiled chicken. Put some oil in a pan and once it heats up, you put your chicken pieces and you let them brown. All the ingredients used will be in the description bar below. Be turning it as we want all the pieces to be brown. We are done with the browning process, we are going to remove it from the pan and we are going to set it aside. In the same pan that we used in browning our chicken, we are going to put our onions and we are going to saute them. Next, we are going to add our ginger garlic paste and we are going to mix well until everything is nicely incorporated. Take a little time in this process as for the ginger needs a little bit of more time for it to cook well. Next you're going to add a tomato paste and you're going to mix well. I normally add my tomato paste before the tomatoes because I want it to be fully cooked. I normally don't like the tangy taste that it normally has.
Next, you're going to add our tomatoes and you're going to mix well. Next, we're going to add our coriander stalks and we're going to mix well. Next, you're going to add the salt and you're going to mix well. We're going to cover it for 10 minutes for our tomatoes to cook down. 10 minutes later, we are going to give them a quick stir. Next, we'll add our bell peppers and we're going to mix well. Next, we're going to cover it for 5 minutes for them to cook down. Give them a quick stir until everything is nicely incorporated. Next, we're going to add our spices and we're going to mix well until everything is nicely incorporated. Don't be in a hurry when you come to this step. You want the spices to fully cook. Next, you're going to add your chicken and you're going to mix well. Now this is where our broth comes in, we're going to add our broth and you're going to mix well. When you use broth instead of water, it enhances the flavor. Cover for five minutes. I gave it a quick stir, but the soup was still light, so I decided to cover it and give it a few minutes. This is the consistency we are going for. It's not too runny and it is not too dry. This local chicken tends to be a little bit oily, so use as little oil as possible when cooking. Next, 
Last but not least, you're going to garnish your chicken with coriander. Mix well until everything is nicely combined. At this point, our chicken is now ready to be served. Our Kenyaji chicken turned out so flavorful and I have mine with some spinach and some ugali. Thank you very much for watching this video. Kindly like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye!